to the Zygmunt Voss Gallery. I'm Nancy Voss and I would invite you to come with me into a journey of a very significant artist and his name is James Tissot. James Tissot was known as a Victorian style artist but really he was the epitome of the Belle Epoque period. He was classically trained, a painter and an etcher and I'm going to bring you into his world by first showing you this particular image and the significance before we get into the details of how he created this is I want you to just look at the marvelous imagery. The woman leading to the child, back to the other children, and he brings you all the way around. He actually was a friend of Whistler's and was introduced to Whistler's brother in law, Hayden, who introduced him to etching, and it's called dry point etching. And dry point etching is a significant way of achieving burls into the surface of a etching plate. Keep in mind the etching plates are very soft, but there is no, no room for any mistakes. You can't wipe a plate clean, it will have a mark. So Hayden introduced um, Tissot to the art of etching and James Tissot became one of the most prominent etchers during the Belle Epoque period. He was classically trained in Paris but then left after the war to go to England and that's where he became uh, a society artist if you will. The women all waved their hands and wanted James Tissot to paint their pictures to chronicle their society actions and during this whole period of time there was a young woman who had a mishap and had to come home and was staying with her sister and her sister said, go down the street and see if this wonderful artist James Tissot will use you as a model. And thus, the love relationship between James Tissot and Kathleen Newman. 